happy. And are you wondering why I'm asking? I'm asking because Ghana ranked 108 out of 156 countries in the latest World Happiness Report. The report assesses the well-being of persons in the focus country based on six main indicators. Income, freedom, trust, life expectancy, social support, which is very important, and generosity. It will interest you to know that Somalia and Nigeria are placed above Ghana in that report, with Finland ranking first. Although Ghana improved significantly in this year's report compared to her 131st ranking in the previous uh, one, we've been asking some Ghanaians if they are happy and why. I'm happy as a Ghanaian because I'm proud of Ghana and Ghana is a free country. When you go to other world, you cannot have the freedom as we have it here. And I'm happy as now as the president is on the seat. The job that we, the young guys, we don't have to work. When you go to work, definitely your boss will tell you a lot of things which you are not happy. So I'm pleading to the, uh, the president and his people to find us a better job to do as a young guy. I'm happy being um, a Ghanaian because um, seeing um, the improvements right here in the country, especially um, the free SHS and then one district, one factory, this is that uh, by God willing, everything is improving. They have to uh, get the skitty people so that when we are, I mean, help, uh, working, we can get the security to guide us. Because when you get your small money, when you want to go to bank or something like that, somebody will follow you. When you draw money, then somebody will chase you, shoot you, or do anything. Are you happy or you're unhappy? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy at all. I'm not. Somehow, it's not all that complete. You see, if you see the system, uh, our government is trying to do something well. But not, it's not all that complete. Mm -hmm. You see, like, economic hardship, if you move a, a, in the town or go into some various places, uh, some people complaining about money. There's no money, there's no... So you heard some of the uh, some some Ghanaians there speaking to us as to whether or not they're happy and why, and um, you, you heard some of the indicators with, uh, with which this report makes that conclusion that people are happy. One of them is social uh, uh, socialization or social relationships. So we're asking you, what are those little things in your relationship or marriage or friendship, anything that keeps you happy and that keeps you going? You can join us with your comment on our Facebook. Uh, go to facebook.com first class join us on TV you can find out that and in, in the studio with me of course is our regular Reverend Daniel Annan he's a counselor and he's going to talk talk to us in, a little bit about how we can keep this happiness thing going what are some of the things that we can do Reverend you're welcome by the way are you happy I'm sure I'm happy you are I'm are happy you like sure? your dress <laughs> so so let's... it's so glittering <laughs> Oh, okay. So beautiful. Please stop smelling my dress. Now, no, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. So let's talk about this report. That's actually putting Ghana um, at what, what, what was the number again? Um, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have it here. I must have missed it, missed it uh, briefly. But I'll get it back. But it actually shows the report actually shows that we are better, like we are happier now than we were last year. What, what do you think are some of the things, the, the indicators actually include social relationships, like, you know, how you relate to, I, I'm sure, family, uh, friends, etc. How do you keep yourself happy? And happiness itself, what, how do we explain happiness itself? Happiness, explaining happiness is, depends on the person, even temperament even differs. Hmm. When you have people with different temperament, they react differently as to whether they are happy or not. But I believe that happiness comes from the word satisfaction. When you are satisfied or you, are, you feel fulfilled, that brings you that deep side that you feel that relief. Oh, yeah, well, that relief. Mm -hmm. So when you, when, when you want to be happy, happiness comes from four dimensions. Happiness comes from the belief that you have in that, that people having peace with your God and peace within your mind that right. no, that belief keeps you going because you are people of what we believe. Mm -hmm. And happiness, secondly, comes from who you are. Nobody can make you happy. No, there are four things nobody can give to you. Okay. Nobody can give you life. Nobody can give you identity. Nobody can give you purpose. And nobody can give you acceptance. So when you know who you are, you are satisfied with yourself. Okay. You are content with yourself. You feel complete in yourself. Quite often, you find people, most especially women, 
they think that somebody have to make them happy because mm. they think they are incomplete. If you say most of, most, most of them are women, is it, be, is it based on your experience? With it's counseling? based on my experience and our culture setting. Okay. Our culture setting has promoted that. So women tend to derive their happiness or their contentment with themselves from other people? Exactly. So when even what they have, they don't even appreciate it. Okay. Unless somebody says so. Quite, for instance, don't you know your hips? You know your, you know your vital statistics, is that not it? Okay, but, do you but need what somebody has that got to, to do with happiness? Thank you. Do you need somebody to tell you that you're beautiful before you know it? Okay. I've done a survey. Go to where the, 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 the Kayage and those people are. You find these guys playing around them. Men pesa, men pesa, but they stay there. They don't move away. And by the time you are aware, they impregnate them. They still stay there. So when you don't want something, why don't you move out? Then it means there is a deficiency within the person. And the person is reacting according to the deficiency that that person has. So you, when you want to explain happiness, you have to look at it from that personal point. Then you come to where your spouse or relations or family also, what they can contribute to it. Okay. Then you come to the environment that we live in. But isn't it the family's responsibility to make sure that people are happy? Isn't, is your happiness not based on how you're brought up, for example? Yeah, it's good. It is. But it only comes when people know it. Okay. Look at how our cultural system, our, our family background, how people are nurtured, hmm. and how people are brought up. You are, you are brought up in your own family as if you are a slave. Hmm. They think that they have to make you strong. And in so doing, they damage certain things within you. The gift, the gifted abilities and capabilities within you. You don't have any voice. Okay. For instance, our society doesn't allow women to speak. So even if you have something to speak, they say you, should, you shouldn't speak. And men, when the man wants to express his emotion, it's a bad man. So you have to keep it. So we are trained like film actors. When I say film actors in quotes, we are acting what we are not. <laughs> well, that's so, it. So, so when you want to be happy, if you come into relationships, then the first question we need to ask is what does a woman need? What does a man need? For instance, if I'm dating you, what do you need that I can contribute to what you already have to make you happy? Okay. A woman is looking out for three basic things. A woman is looking for security. A woman is looking for affection. And a woman is looking for communication. Okay. In security, what is she looking for? Like what the statistics said, mm -hmm. is looking for somebody who he can trust. Right. Somebody you can somebody you can commit yourself to. Right. Somebody who can help you to have that emotional balance. For instance, today you are so tired, you are worn out. You have somebody who can just oh, give to Come two on, like you so, oh, yes, that conversation. Right. That takes off the stress. It takes off the stress. You mm. feel that you are loved. But before you go into feeling like you are loved, before you go into that relationship that makes you, uh, that gives you some sort of extra happiness, you should be happy in yourself. Exactly. And you, you listed a few things I've forgotten. Can you just go through them? The four so things that can nobody can give you, this. nobody can give you life. Nobody Once you have you life. life, you must be grateful to God for giving you life. Mm. It gives you the opportunity. When you have life, there's opportunity right. to correct or to make amends or to make the best out of life. Mm. Second, nobody can give you identity. Okay. For instance, we're a brand. Mm -hmm. Your, even your hairstyle is a brand. Hmm. You are a journalist. Look at your, your, your speech, the tonition. A, you, you are giving yourself an identity. Okay. Nobody can give you a purpose. What you identified, what purpose? What are you living for? And nobody can give you acceptance. You need to accept who you are. Whether you are tall, short, whether you are slim, whether you are fat, whether you are whatever. You need to accept, accept yourself. yourself. So when you accept yourself, it becomes easy for somebody to add up. Sometimes okay. when you tell somebody, you are, oh, Miami, Miami, I can see. <laughs> okay. It means the person has not accepted herself, herself. yet. Okay. Well, let's look at what people are saying on Facebook, and then I'll come to you for your quick reaction. Uh, it seems that we're, we've taken quite a, a lot of your time today, Reverend Anand, but let's see what people are saying. So we're asking you how happy you are. Lamine Keita says, you can't be happy in a country where rent masters take two years and above advance. A country where 50 cities to... 50 cities to can't value the same tomorrow. Okay, you want to say, where well, 50 cities doesn't have the same value tomorrow. Vitus Pikpene says, John News, people are really suffering. Oh, and happiness comes when those in authority don't care about the ordinary man on the street. Well, Reverend Anand here says, find the happiness in you. because So that when someone else is adding anything, it's just a bonus. 
Robert Akil says, look at the faces of the pedestrians on the street. Are they looking happy? <laughs> okay. Owusu Ejiomi says, but they haven't asked me, asked me, my girlfriend, my friends, my parents and siblings, whether we are happy or not. So how do they know that? I'm an out... <laughs> I'm an outlier to their study, please. Okay, so you don't you don't basically agree with the studies because it didn't include you. Kurama Tenge says, How can I be happy when I have to ask my neighbors their presidential ambitions before putting any structure close to them? While my tax is already used to build a build a mansion for him to stay in, but he won't. And I'll be giving three thousand to evacuate. You're talking about the president's uh, private residence. He says she says this can only happen in Ghana, not in Volta. Nogopo will surely speak for us. Mensa Cecil says, When the youth are suffering whilst the old men are partying hard, they took, they took all the juicy positions in the country, even after pension. They are given contracts, milking on the taxpayer. How can Ghana be a happy place in this mess? Let me take my very final comment um, from Gilbert. He says, um, Okay. All right. So, Walanyo uh, Akwetia. Okay, Benedict says she is very, very unhappy because the leaders talk, 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 no action. They keep promising heaven on earth. But what I've seen, I've seen now, it's not all right. It used to be five or six cities, now 11 cities. As for the promises, let's not try to count them because it may increase my unhappiness. Kweko <laughs> Nancy says, if the S O is a happy place, why do we yearn to go and stay with the white man? Ghana is like hell, mercy. <laughs> Okay, there's still a lot of comments and I've already run out of time. But let, let me take a very quick wrap on this with, with you, um, Reverend. It appears that everybody is linking their happiness to what the government is doing. does. Or the politics of the country or the situation, the national discussion that's ongoing. In life, solving problems, you cannot solve from people's end. You can solve it from your end. When you begin to solve in conflict management and solving problems, make sure that you solve the problems from your, your, your position. From where you are, if you are able to make some corrections and make... The, the problem is whether we have direction as a people. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What do you set yourself to achieve? So it should basically be from a, from a very individual yourself, perspective. So that people, when you begin to change, the hope of the world is you. For instance, you are shaping the society. So if one person changes, you that person tomorrow when you are in leadership position, you also change the society. But the person who is in that leadership position doesn't know. So when he doesn't know, he is practicing what he already knows. What, what he already knows. What yes, is... what you what already knows is that we are living in those ages where we are living that or say to two mad where you have to be a king, everybody have to be your subordinate subordinate mm, mm. in those ancient times. But in current leadership, it differs. It's teamwork, it's team building. I mean, we have to interrelate, we have to relate, we have to communicate, we have to fix the gaps, we have to solve problems, we have to see the needs of the people, meet their needs. In so doing, we also achieve our goals. Mm. But our leadership is still living in the 19th century leadership. Okay. So you find out that they are not so much communicating with the society. So you have to begin to solve your problems. When their own comes, then it adds up to it. Other than that, you always be angry with people. You always be angry with people. And I'm seeing a lot of anger in those messages there. But you see, if if, if for nothing at all, don't forget that, uh, like Reverend is saying, you, you need to be happy that you have life. You need to be happy that you have an identity. And perhaps build on that identity. You need to be happy that you have a purpose. You need to be happy and accept yourself for who you are. But how do you even know what your purpose is? I think that often, more often than not, people are unhappy because they don't understand even what is contained in these things like identity purpose acceptance how do i know my purpose how do i know my identity how do i accept myself so that i'll be happy very simple what joy news <laughs> For, oh yes too you are giving education <laughs> look at how joy you are celebrating the Ghana month mm -hmm. it's giving identity as a Ghanaian. i'm proud to be a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. but that's so like it, it's a starting at, point yeah it, 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 can't you have a starting point that is from you personally personally you see it should start from the family system where values where purposes where we begin to identify the talents abilities in people and begin to see that ah, you, I, don't, I see the way you go about your thing you can be very, you can be this and let's begin to encourage people encourage them to do it when even they make mistakes we'll be nurturing them so whilst they are doing what they know best to do 
we identify, we align them to identify their passion mm. and they identify what they know best. Mm. That's why we begin to have the X factor. You know X factor? Mm. X factor is what you know best to do. I mean, what you have intellect, you have study, you know. When it meets what your passion is, then you have the X factor. Have the X factor. When you have the X factor, you are able to explore to do your best. Okay. What are we doing, Joy News? Joy News is beginning to tell people how to think, okay. the directions to think. Two, Joy News is trying to give people purposes, identifying things. That, when you look through your program's content, mm -hmm. we are able to tell you, you can do this, you can do that, this, uh, this avails here, you can go here, you can get this. Mm -hmm. Joy News is trying to let people know who they are and accept themselves and make better, better people who they are and make themselves better. Well, so when, when you begin, the, 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 the issue is that people are not prepared to learn to have the requisite information. Okay. If you are not, then you'll be living in the dark. So you should be teachable. Okay, let exactly. me take my final uh, line of comments and then we'll wrap up. Um, Fefe Francis, uh, can we go down a bit? Fefe Francis' uh, comment. Okay, Homeku William. Homeku William says, you don't need to be told. Mr. President called for change and says he will fix the economy, meaning he has accepted the broken economy. Mesa Otabel says, change, meaning things are getting out of hand. Even Nigerians' presidents want to help Ghana to fight corruption. You have a question back there. Foreign businessmen are being killed and also sent back home illegally. People are hungry and looking for jobs. About a Nobute says, how can somebody be happy as unemployed graduate so people are basically looking at their situation and uh de deciding to deciding whether or not they're happy reverend anna let me take your final words happiness must generate from yourself financial capability or financial independence comes from entrepreneurial skills that you have hmm. the family settings that we have should go beyond what we already know and begin to build values and begin to nurture identify talents in people and begin to encourage people wow. and to our leaders i think there should be dynamism in the way that leaders of today think one they should interact with their communities know their needs and the best way to solve their needs two they must have listening ears listening ears mm -hmm. my son will say daddy listen <laughs> you shout on me daddy listen so it means I was not, I thought yeah. I was listening. So when you, you listen to people, some people, you may not necessarily give them something, mm -hmm. but they need to be groomed. Just let the person be with another person to coach the person who will come up. Okay. And finally, as religious leaders, we have the pulpit. We must inspire hope in people right. and tell them that life is brighter. There's something good that we have to achieve. Life is brighter. And if you forget anything that we've said here, please don't forget that. Be happy that you have life. Be happy that you have an identity, you are somebody, you have something that sets you apart. Be happy that you have a purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, begin looking within yourself for it. And accept yourself for whoever uh, um, you are, whatever God has made you. Accept yourself for who you are. And to families, let's encourage each other. Let's be the encouraging, uh, or let's give encouraging words and get people to be the best that they can. And for, to you, be teachable then you can get to wrap. I, I believe that I've summed it all up very well. Reverend Daniel Annan is a Friday counselor. He comes in here every Friday. And sometimes we talk married. Today we're talking happiness. I hope you've grabbed a thing or two.